Hey everyone, it is Barry and welcome back to another collab video. Today I'm collaborating with The Sims Flicks. I'll link her channel down in the description below, but she'll also pop up in the end of the video. You know, with the little subscribing buttons on the video screen. We decided to build a modern echo home, thinking about the fact that we'll soon get an echo expansion pack but all of the pieces seemed a little more rustical and more mm, old schoolish so we thought we'd build a modern echo home and we didn't really decide whether we wanted it to be a bigger home or a smaller home and i just completely went overboard with the exterior it it became a huge house Mm, I didn't even want it to be that big. To be fully honest with you, I wanted something... Um, I don't know, something smaller. A nice little family home, you know, for like a married couple and one max two kids. Now I think you could place three couples and 20 kids. Well, <laughs> that was maybe a little over overdue, but... I really went overboard with it. I wanted it to look perfect. I don't know if it does look perfect in the end, but do you know the feeling when you have a collab and do I pronounce the word right? I always feel so weird saying it, but you're having a collaboration with someone and you just want it to be good because you know that you'll give the exterior, for example, to another person and she has to decorate it and she has to make up where the rooms are and how everything is going to look like and i don't want to give my house to someone and then the person will be like oh what did she do there what did what did she think <laughs> so yeah i i put a lot of effort into it i also wanted this little garden section like downstairs um just because i wanted a safe place for the flowers i don't know they just can grow beautifully down there and have a lot of growth i don't know but i liked it <laughs> um i'm sure it, it is good for the flowers who knows also you know you have a lot of space on the porch to put a barbecue and whatsoever and then there's downstairs is the gardening area so you're not always right next to the garden when you're outside having guests or whatsoever um upstairs i really wanted to do something cool and make a great entrance and give a, give a lot of space for god knows what i mean i <laughs> i'm not doing the interior so I just wanted it to look good. No, I'm just kidding. I for sure thought about places where the rooms can be and what you can build in there. But um, I also wanted the exterior to look good. Just look good, nice. And yeah, it's a little easier for me by now to do the exterior, which is weird because I was always super bad with exteriors and now I like it better through youtube you know i am doing so many videos and for sure i'm certain certain <laughs> i'm certain <laughs> i'm searching for a lot of inspiration all the time and you start building differently because you want your builds to look good and for people to rec uh, or to notice uh the, the thumbnail so you do something bigger and better every time and yeah, by now I like doing exterior more than interior and I would have never thought so because earlier when I didn't do uh, YouTube I would always just download houses, exterior houses and furnish them because I hated building, I hated it but you know it's kind of slightly changing and um, it's okay, I kind of like it. I like doing the exterior. It's just, it's fun. 
it is fun and then when it comes to furnish i hate it <laughs> okay i don't hate it but i struggle i struggle a lot especially because there are so many great builders out there or decorators let's say like that i always run out of passion with the interior um not passion how do you say i run out of uh uh, I forgot the word, but I think you know what I mean, right? I just I just don't want to decorate anymore. Um, I feel so done with, you know, building. And I, had, I always have so much fun building that I don't really want to do the interior afterwards. I don't know. It's, it's really weird, but um, I hope that this is getting better again <laughs> because I love doing interior. And now I don't. Uh, yeah, well, the roofing was okay for this build. I just wanted those, you know, um, more modern roofs. And it was quite, quite easy, actually, to do the roofing. And as you can see already, the house is huge. It's kind of majestic. Is, it, is that the right word? Majestic? Um, it's literally huge. <laughs> it's probably the biggest echo home I ever built. I, I've already done a few echo homes because I just love it. And this is just the biggest of all of them. I am planning to do another one in the near future where I'm going to do a smaller one. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I actually said in, last, in the last video that I wanted to go back to my usual schedule of Mondays and Sundays but then I did the call up with the Simflex and she couldn't upload on Wednesday so we changed that and the next build, believe me or not, is a even bigger build and for me that's weird because usually I'm always going for smaller builds but the next build is even bigger than this one, it's just huge and I've never planned it to be. So I think I'm going to have to split it into three parts. And I don't want to wait, you know, for Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday to upload three parts because it's one house. So I want to do it in one go. So it's probably going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, but then I'm gonna go back to my old schedule basically with just one house you know it just I can't just put it into one video because it's so big and I don't want to make the videos endlessly long because who's going to watch it I'm not even sure who's going or who's watching right now I say that so many times I I can't believe that there are people who are actually listening to me babble for I don't know how long this video is 15 16 minutes uh, I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't listen to myself because I never never even talk something exciting. I don't really have too much exciting stuff to tell about builds and I don't know. I mean, I just uh, placed some windows and doors and I really went for the white and wood colors like a lot of echo homes are because you know wooden panels are just natural and good and for sure we added a lot of very big windows because then you don't need to turn on the light too often uh, which you wouldn't want to in an echo home right um, and also i hope that the house was built very properly so they don't have to put on the heater the whole time um, but yeah what else is there to say about the build i don't even know oh by the way if you guys are interested in that i don't know but i have my english certificate the oral exam and um, i had two exams i had to write a lot of stuff and last week we had the oral exam i don't know my written grade but i know my oral grade and um yeah i i got an a so i'm quite happy about that and um now everything's calming down a little bit till i have my final exams in december till then i'm gonna try to upload as much as possible and then i'm going to probably disappear because i'm super scared already i don't even know when to learn 
the chest. Like this week, I have two tests at school. Um, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I do work um, Monday to Friday, eight till six. So there is not too much time um, in the week to actually learn. So I don't know, probably I'm going to learn on the way to school. I have to go by train for 45 minutes or 50 minutes, depending on the train. And um, yeah, I'm probably going to learn that. That's what I'm telling myself at least, because I know myself, I'm probably going to sleep in there. I'm just going to sleep in there like always. <laughs> well, right now we're at the landscaping of this huge, immense, massive echo home. And for sure I planted or I set a lot of parties where you can plant your stuff, your vegetables, your fruits, so you can, you know, eat your own stuff and uh, you don't have to destroy the environment with buying, you know, stuff that we shouldn't buy, but we all do, most of us. Um, for the colors, first I didn't want to have like a color for all of the gardening, but then I kind of went with the blue and yellowish and I didn't go too overboard with it. Usually all of my gardens are full of plants, my landscaping takes me longer than the actual builds usually. But this time I didn't go too overboard with it, just a little bit, just a few bushes and flowers here and there. And yeah, just, you know, um, to make everything a little prettier. And if you haven't known, the big secret about beautiful landscaping is to use a little bit of dirt under your plants, um, make everything nice and brown because in a normal garden, your plants don't grow out of grass, you know, they grow out of dirt. And that's what we're doing right now, putting in some dirt, making everything look a little more realistic, realistically, whatever. And now playing around with the windows again because I wasn't too happy with those really small ones. And uh, yeah, I just kept playing with everything because I wasn't 100% happy yet. But in general, I'm very happy with the exterior. And I am so glad I don't need to furnish this. I'm so glad. I can't wait for you guys to see some flicks um, interior. You should really check it out. Check, check it out. You know, linked in the description down below or at the end of the video. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm so weird today. Mm. But yeah, anyways, I would so love to, uh, to have some sugar right now, chocolate gummy bears anything but I don't have something at home and it's right now I uh, it's Sunday I'm recording on a Sunday and I can't go anywhere in Germany shops are closed at Sundays and at night so you know it's my problem I really want sugar and I think that's why my things are weird <laughs> but I mean I, I I'm weird all the time right but you know Still doing the landscaping. Um, there's nothing more to tell about the landscaping. Actually, I didn't even want to do a voiceover for the whole video, but now I've been babbling for 30 minutes already. So what's what's the what's the thing about finishing yet? I just got a Snapchat message. That's why I kind of ran out of words, probably. Um, what about you guys? If you're still listening, are you more of a Snapchat or Instagram type of person? Me personally, I do write with only one person on Snapchat and only because I know that the messages will disappear. Because what I write with her is usually not always something that I want people to see. Uh, so, not in a dirty kind of way. <laughs> I mean, in a friendship kind of way, I tell her a lot of stuff and um, I don't want everyone to know that stuff. And for sure, the whole thing with the Instagram videos is fairly new, so maybe we will change to switch to Instagram ones, but I don't know. 
But yeah, that's the reason I'm writing in Snapchat. And except for that, all I do is use Snapchat filters and then I upload on Instagram. I'm, I'm a serious Instagram girl. I love Instagram. I, I don't really like Facebook anymore. I don't really use Snapchat. I never really use Twitter. And I think Twitter in Germany is just not as big as it is in other parts of this world. But yeah, I don't use Twitter or anything. I'm usually just using Instagram. So what about you guys? What do you use? It's really interesting for me. And for sure, the app I use the most is YouTube. Uh, whether it is on my phone or on my tablet, I use YouTube a lot. <laughs> um, we're coming to the end of the exterior. Um, I don't know what I did down here. I just twisted and turning around like a crazy person, adding some greenery. And that's basically it. We'll go into the screenshots right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out the Sunflixes video. Have a great week and I see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>